Imagine a place where art and history intertwine in a dance that spans centuries. A place that houses over 35,000 works of art across an area of 600,000 square feet. This place exists, and it's called the Louvre, in the heart of Paris, nestled between the right bank of the Seine and the Rue de Rivoli, stands a monumental testament to human creativity and resilience. The Louvre, the world's largest and most visited art museum, has a history as fascinating as the masterpieces it holds. The story of the Louvre begins in the late 12th century as a fortress built by King Philippe Auguste. This stronghold with its thick walls and tall towers was designed to protect Paris from potential invasions. But as peace prevailed and the city grew, the fortress lost its defensive purpose and was transformed into a royal palace during the 14th century under Charles V. Over the centuries, the palace continued to evolve, with each monarch leaving their unique imprint on its architecture and collection. The grand galleries and opulent apartments we see today are the result of a series of ambitious renovations initiated by King Louis XIV in the 17th century. However, the palace's transformation into a public museum did not occur until the French Revolution. In 1793, the revolutionary government opened the Louvre's doors to the public, making its vast art collection accessible to all, not just the privileged few. The Louvre's collection continued to grow through donations, acquisitions and spoils from Napoleon's conquests. It was during his reign that the museum was renamed the Musée Napoleon, and its collection nearly doubled in size. But after his downfall, the museum reverted to its original name, and many seized works were returned to their countries of origin. In the centuries that followed, the Louvre underwent significant expansions and renovations, including the addition of the iconic glass pyramid in the central courtyard in 1989. This modern structure, designed by architect I.M. Pei, serves as the museum's main entrance and is a symbol of the Louvre's blend of historical grandeur and contemporary design. Now, let's take a step back and recap the journey we've embarked on. We started at a medieval fortress in the 12th century, witnessed its evolution into a royal palace and its transformation into a public museum during the French Revolution. We saw its collection grow and evolve, reflecting the tastes and ambitions of the monarchs and governments that shaped its history. And we arrived at the modern-day Louvre, a world-renowned art museum that marries the old with the new. In the Louvre, art is more than just a collection of paintings and sculptures. It's a historical narrative, a testament to the human spirit's resilience and creativity. It's a place where every corner tells a tale, every painting has a story, and every sculpture holds a secret. Remember, the Louvre is more than just a museum, it's a journey through time, a portal to the past, and a beacon for the future of art and culture. It's a place where history comes alive and art speaks louder than words. So the next time you find yourself wandering the grand galleries of the Louvre, remember to look beyond the canvas and the stone. For in every brushstroke and chisel mark, there lies a piece of our shared human story waiting to be discovered.